Фантастические коврики или замену, ну поняли, да, все? This video, released on social media, apparently shows Russian recruits to the military being told to buy most of their own kit. Now, it's impossible to verify if this footage is genuine. But if it is, it showcases a Russian army desperately short of the basics, including battlefield medical supplies. The recruits here are being told to get sanitary products. Over the decades, these products have been used extensively on the battlefield. They're sterile and are designed to absorb blood. You know, it's obvious that uh, as part of basic military skills, uh, anybody being conscripted for this war needs to uh, undertake basic first aid training. Um, of course, you know, the, the deeper question is, why is this, this equipment not being issued alongside why is other aspects of um, basic military equipment uh, not being issued? Treating battlefield wounds has progressed far beyond where the Russians appear to be. There are now far more effective but more expensive ways of dealing with battlefield injuries. The uh, addition of uh, topical agents that you can apply directly to the wound um, you know, these are a mixture of powders or um, impregnated dressings, uh, and these have a chemical reaction at a local level that aids blood clotting to the uh, the wound itself. That that's, as you say, slightly more um, costly and a slightly higher level of technology. This is a Mert flight arriving in Camp Bastion in Afghanistan, bringing a casualty directly from the fight to the well-equipped hospital. The conflict against the Taliban helped drive forward trauma care for patients. Put simply, by the withdrawal of troops, people were surviving severe injury who would without doubt have died at the start of operations. Russia, it seems, hasn't learned from its wars and medical logistics appear very poor. You need to have uh, an evacuation system, um, the ability to provide uh, forward resuscitation and emergency surgery, etc. The fighting in Ukraine continues with, it seems, Russian recruits having to self-fund much of their equipment, including tried and tested yet severely dated medical supplies, and as the seasons change, warm clothing and bedding to try and keep themselves alive. Tim Cooper, Forces News. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.